Accepting the excluded. This is one of the most important work that we're doing in the family constellations. And not only the excluded, but the forgotten ones, the judged, the criticized, the ones that were not accepted, the angry ones, the difficult ones. And many of the entanglements that we have, the situations that we have in our life where we feel blocked, when we feel that we're repeating patterns, are because of things that we're carrying from the excluded ones. And by looking at them with acceptance and love, we're healing those entanglements that we have. We don't have to carry on with their emotions, with their patterns, with their traumas, because we are already looking at them with acceptance. We're giving them their place in the family system. We're understanding that they were doing the best that they can, that they also had many entanglements in the family system, many traumas, emotions that they were str struggling with. And they were doing the best that they could. So when we look at all of them with acceptance and with love, we are able to let go of those entanglements that we have that are keeping us stuck in our life. We help heal our lives, but we also help heal the family system. And we don't know a lot of these entanglements that we have with the family system. And the way that we're able to, to, to heal them, it's by looking at our daily life. Who in our daily life is being rejected, is being excluded, is being, being criticized? Maybe a neighbor, maybe a friend, maybe a co-worker. So when we think about these people, we are able to also shift our perspective. And instead of connecting to the reason why they're being excluded or judged or criticized, we can also connect to them in the sense of they are carrying a lot from their family system. We can wonder what has happened for them to be in that situation. And we can decide to honor and respect them and their family system and to connect to them with acceptance and love. And this doesn't mean that if they're doing something that uh, is difficult for us, that we're just gonna do nothing. We always need to be responsible for ourselves. But in the way that we're able to see everybody in our, in our lives, with love, with acceptance, understanding that they're doing the best that they can, instead of looking at them with judgment and criticism, with the tags that we have, with the, uh, of the difficulties or what we hear from others, then we're able to heal. Then we're able to heal our lives. Then we're able to heal our family system because we're starting to do what our ancestors were not able to do, to accept, to include, to connect to others with love. So this is why it's so powerful. This is why it's so important to accept everybody in our family system, but also in our lives. And this is what brings a powerful healing for us and our whole family system.